What up world? So today I am exploring an abandoned water park in Southern California. But first, cue the intro. Good morning everybody. So I decided I wanted to take a day off and what better way to spend your day off than going and exploring. So as I said in the uh, introduction, um, today we are going to go check out the abandoned water park called Lake Dolores um, out in California. From Las Vegas, it's about a two hour drive, so not too far, but uh, far enough to get out of the city and go do some exploring. And um, so yeah, got to hit the gas station first and then we'll get on our way. Waking up in this paradise, thought I was paralyzed, it's just as I realized. A continuous fall I jumped on a fast train To jump off a fast train To land on my glass rays It all breaks the same I'm up in the airplanes Looking for airplanes Destined to make a change So I jumped towards the sea So Lake Dolores Water Park is located in Newberry Springs, California. It was once a extremely popular destination for families to make a pit stop and hang out for the day and have a good family adventure. It originally opened in 1960 and it offered all sorts of water attractions such as lazy rivers and water slides and all sorts of cool stuff like that. Throughout the years, Lake Dolores experienced periods of popularity and decline, undergoing several renovations and changes in ownership. And now the water park has been closed since 2004. So now I'm going to get back on the road and just keep on. So smack dab right in the middle of the Mojave Desert is the little town of Baker, California. Now. Baker used to be a historic town that a lot of families would stop at to spend the night, to get gas, to get food, stuff like that. Now, it still holds that same kind of purpose where people uh, stop here to get gas and charge their Teslas and stuff like that as they make their way from Las Vegas to LA and LA back to Vegas. Now, when I was here the other day, getting gas I saw this hotel and this uh this motel is very very interesting there's a ton of graffiti all over it and it is definitely abandoned and it looks like a couple of the areas had some fire uh burn it down a little bit but there's a lot of it still preserved so I wanted to check it out so let's go explore
There's a ton of broken glass everywhere. Kind of interesting how there's this just random palm tree in like every single room. You see like wines on the floor. Broken toilets, broken sinks. Ceilings are still nice. bunch of old paperwork, a bunch of <laughs> old checks,
pretty nuts <laughs> uh, this hotel is just decaying in ruin with fire graffiti broken glass it's just a uh, it's a very interesting place that's been abandoned Kind of making our way towards the back side now. Got the old pool.
pretty sure there's still some people living in here. Uh, <laughs> I want to kind of get going a little bit. Looks like the old restaurant part of the building. All right, so that was the Arnie's Royal Hawaiian Hotel in Baker, uh, California. Um, yeah, pretty pretty interesting place. Um, a lot of graffiti, which that always draws me. I love seeing people's artwork, um, especially if there's like some meaning and purpose behind it. Um, I would say overall, you can tell that the place is definitely being occupied by um, either currently or previously uh, by some homeless people. Um, so that's always it's always sad to see, and it's always uh, very humbling. Um, but yeah, on to the next adventure. So I'm finally here. I'm at the uh, lake. Dolores water park that's uh, been abandoned for quite some time um, so we're gonna go check it out it's pretty eerie and very uh, apocalyptic so let's go
It's crazy to imagine that this place, even though it's definitely been uh, it's really crazy to think that this place had been around since like the 1960s and it used to be a really really popular uh, destination for people to stop and hang out take a break with their kids and stuff like that because now it's nothing but like burned buildings and graffiti everywhere it's it's nuts to think that this place is in the middle of nowhere and it used to be just a gigantic water park Assuming that this part right here had to have been a lazy river. I'm guessing all the uh, little water slides were up there on the hill. As, uh, as per usual, I think one of my favorite things to see at places like this is absolutely the, uh, the graffiti. Like to me, the, some of the best artists currently are all uh, graffiti artists. Um, and it's, it's sometimes very, uh, socially deviant when these amazing artists <laughs> place their artwork in areas of abandonment such as this water park. I could, I could also see how how easy it would be to completely pass over this place. I mean, 
mean, you can't see it right now, but or maybe you can. Yeah, you can see all the uh, all the cars on I-15 completely driving by this place like it never existed. See this building right here. This entire roof collapsed, I'm guessing, due to uh, weather and fire. Um, sadly, places like this are some of the few uh, few safe havens that uh, individuals who are homeless and addicted to certain substances can go. And they, uh, they end up lighting fires to like stay warm at certain times of the year. And all it takes is one spark sometimes in a very, very flammable building. Check this out. <laughs> There's still some slides over here. No, I'm not going to be going on them, but still pretty, pretty interesting. I bet you this is where the uh, kiddie pool was. These are really, really small slides. some nasty water down there as uh, cool as it would be to go into that little room I, I think I'm gonna pass Wind's starting to pick up a little bit, so I'm probably gonna hustle up. Look off into the distance. A little bit of a possible storm coming in. So I'm gonna hustle up a little bit and get to the top of these stairs.
imagine waiting in line right here to go down a slide to go down there. It's so eerie over here, it's crazy. Said, kind of getting a little bit windy up here. So, yeah. So, I think that's going to be a wrap for the Lake Dolores water park. Um, if you liked the video, go ahead and please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.